What stands Aviram for? Aviram came from aviation and remote. So put these together and you got Aviram. Very simple. Patrick, is there a way to use the stick mover as a controller um, for a stiff or a simulator? Um, no, at the moment not. Um, facing the fact we are using servos inside the stick mover, um, you can use the stick mover as an input device for a simulator. But we already prepared the hardware for that, so um, these things we need for that are getting cheaper and cheaper. And yes, if they are available for a good price, we just can change these devices inside and you can use the stick mover with the new technology so you won't have to buy a new one. Patrick, are there training sequences to guide me um, to a complex maneuver? Yes. Um, we spoke to some people um, uh, having heli schools and, and they, um, they found out that there are some maneuvers you can fly that, that brings you easily to more complex maneuvers. And they, like to, they also like to produce skills for the stick mover. And that's exactly what we do. We're working together with these people, bringing their skills and their knowledge inside the stick mover. So, yes. Patrick, why can't I hang the stick mover around my neck? It's pretty easy because he is missing something. Um, so we, we totally forget about that. And, and <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll fix it. So if the stick mover is delivered, you find something to hang it around your neck. <laughs> And also, of course, for the people flying with the pool, they can use it this way. This is just uh, something from Multiplex, but we will also bring something like this to use the stick mover in the way we like it best. That's clear. I can use the stick mover inside on the simulator, yep. but uh, can I use it outside to, 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 to feel it live? On, you mean on a flying yard? Yes. Yes, of course. Uh, we prepared something for that. Um, to be honest, that, that's also something we, we have inside the stick mover, but we totally forget about that. Here you see a normal remote control. Here you see um, the um, uh, receiver for the remote control. And we just use the PPM signal uh, on our uh, hardware. And now if you move... For example, if, if you move your remote control, um, the stick mover is moved. So you can use the stick mover outside on the field, binding to someone and, and feeding his movements live. That's, that's a nice idea, even for flying schools. At the moment, all our skills are recorded in simulators, but it's a way to record it outside and live. Yeah, of course, we can do that. We, we also prepared something for that. Ah, just let me get it. So this, this is our box, our technical box to do records outside. Um, so that's, it's really great because you can, you can feel flights are recorded outside on the flying field, uh, on FPV events, flying uh, around in the world. And, and you can feel it now uh, with another point of view. And yes, some of this will come in summer that you can feel it outside when it's a bit more warm outside. It, it makes much more fun for us here. Thanks a lot for viewing. We hope you enjoy our information and we really hope that you will help us to spread the idea of the stick mover out there in the internet. Our Kickstarter campaign you will see here uh, is still a couple of days online and it would be really great if you could help us to bring the stick mover to the market. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.